In this video, I am going to show you how you can create a custom product page template and then implement it to all of your product pages using Cadence Themes and the Cadence Blocks Pro plugin. If you are interested in learning how you can create your own custom single product page using Cadence Theme, then without further ado, let's get started now. So the first thing that you want to do is to log into the dashboard of your website. And once you will get logged into the dashboard of your website, from here, you want to go to the plugin section. And in the plugin section, you need to ensure that you have Cadence Shop Kit plugin installed. So I have this Cadence Shop Kit plugin already installed. With that, you will see this additional option shop kit. Click on the shop kit and from here where it says product templates, you need to ensure that you have this option enabled uh, product template enabled from here. And then you can click on this save option right here. And once you will click on the save option under this product tab, you will have this new option Woo templates. So once you will click on this Woo templates option here, you can create your own template. So right here, you can see I have created this the template that I was showing this template using this template right here so i created this one using the cadence blocks and the cadence themes pro so for now what i can do is to send it to the trash so we can delete it and we can recreate it now if i go back here and if i refresh it from there you can see now we are back to the default cadence theme template now it is actually depends on your creativity how you want to use this thing but i'm just going to demonstrate how useful it is so click on the add new button right here and once you click on the add new button the cadence theme will start getting loaded and from here you want to make sure you choose this single product and once you will choose the single product you will start getting this pre-built layout you can choose this layout uh, this template right here or this template right here i'm not going to give you detail on this template you, if you want you can use these templates as well but we are going to start from scratch so we'll click on start blank let's just give it a title I'll label it as product single template and then in here we can actually start creating our template so let's just throw in a row template or a row layout so let's insert the low row layout and then from here we can choose a single row layout and in the single row layout then you can click on this plus icon right here but before let's just adjust the width so where it says um this inner content width make it to use theme inner content width and then once again click here and there you will see this option align make it wide width so it will be wide width once you will do that click on this plus icon and then from here click search for section block and then drag and drop that section block right so now if i open this navigator right here you can see now we have this row layout and a section block inside of it now i actually want to duplicate it one more time so now go to this section block right here and from here you can see inner block direction change it to horizontal and now you can see now we have this horizontal route looking something like this now what you can do is to go to this style tab and under the border styles you can see this option box shadow you can en enable this option and now we have box shadow right here you can also apply some background color so i'll apply a white color background color right here and then we can actually adjust the border radius so let's just ad adjust the border radius to 12 pixels on all the sides so i'll make it 12 pixels now we just need to adjust it a little bit so i'll make it 12 pixel and now you can see we have this border radius applied to all of these options so i'll ensure that i am on this section block then you can go to this general tab and from here you can adjust the gap to 20 pixels or the 30 pixels so let's just make it 20 pixels so that we have a nice spacing between both of these sections right here so now click on this plus icon and once you will click on this plus icon scroll all the way down and from here you will see this new option wood template blocks so we are going to use this woo template blocks from here what you actually need is to throw in this product gallery so i'll drag and drop this product gallery block from here to there and in the left in the right side panel you have this option available to choose between the galleries so you can choose the thumbnail left thumbnail right standard list two column grid tiles or no thumbnail so i'll choose this thumbnail left option and then inside here i want to display my product prices product title and everything else so from here you can see we have this option product title block so i'll insert the product title block right here and it will automatically fetch the product title for us and i'll click on this plus tab and then i'll scroll down and here you can see we have another block product price so let's just drag and drop that product price block right here now click on this plus and then scroll down and once you will scroll down 
you will see you, we have another option product short description you can insert the product short description here or here let's just insert the short description below the title then click on this plus tab then scroll down and from here you can see now we have this product meta if you want to display the product meta you can just uh, import this block from there to there and this is how the product meta pair and here under the meta styles you can stylize everything with all of these widgets so everything all of these blocks so everything is actually very easily customizable i'm not going to go in details on how you can change the color spacing padding and everything else you can do it yourself only purpose here is to show you how you can create your own single product template so now we have added this thing let's just add a product breadcrumb so i'll drag and drop the product breadcrumb at the top and here you can see this is how the breadcrumb looking i'll click on this plus icon then i'll go down and from here what we actually need is an add to cart so let's find the add to cart from here so there is product add to cart let's just insert the add to cart button right there so here you can see this is how it is looking if you want you can also add the product reviews block here we also have the product reviews so we'll just need to find it here it is product rating so let's just insert product rating right here i'll actually delete this one from here we actually need that now let's adjust the padding here so i'll open this navigator and in the navigator i'll click on this second section right here then we can go to this advanced tab and let's just adjust the padding so i'll click on this option right here and let's just make the padding small or medium let's just make it medium so the medium looks fine here now if i click on this publish option here but before that you will have to click on this template setting and under the template setting you will have to click on display settings show on single product and then for the user settings make sure you select all users and then click on update button now let's go back to the product right here and now if i refresh this you can see now we have this block showing up something like now we actually need to adjust the pairing of this section right here so i'll open this block settings and then i'll go to the advanced tab i'll and, and then i'll ensure that i have zero pairing on all the sides now if i refresh and if i go to the product and if i refresh you can see this is how it is looking so you can actually customize everything according to your need for now i'm just going to give you details in how you can create these things so now we have created this section let's just duplicate this section one more time and here you can see we have this section showing up something like this i don't actually need this section so i'll remove the second column and in the first column i also want to remove this product gallery so in this here what i actually need to add the product tab so then i'll click on this plus icon and then i'll scroll down here you are seeing that we have a block for product tabs so i'll drag and drop the product tabs block right here and here you can see this is how the product tab is looking from here you have the complete freedom to stylize the tab however you want to stylize it but for now what i actually want is to choose this collapse style and this is actually like an accordion style so i'll keep this accordion st style from here and then i can go to this section settings right here and then i can go to this advanced tab and then we can apply some padding so i'll apply the small padding on all the sides and then i'll hit publish now if we go back to our product template and if i refresh you can see there is how our product tabs are looking now after that let's just insert one more section so i'll just duplicate this section from here and then we can actually remove this block from here that is showing the product tab so i'll delete this then you can click on this plus icon right here and then you can scroll all the way down until you will see this option related products so we need to find the related products so there is the block product related i'll drag and drop that block right here and here you can see we have the related products showing i want to change the number of columns so i'll make them three columns and now if i click on this update button and if we go back to our website and if i refresh our website you can see now we have this related product showing up right there you can be as much creative as you want you can stylize these things make them sticky or do whatever you want to do that is completely your choice but in this way you can create your own custom single product template using the cadence themes pro and the cadence blocks pro i hope you find this video useful if you find this video useful please hit the like button that will help me reach more people on the youtube if you have any question drop them in the comment section i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can and then be sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to hit the bell icon to always get the latest video updates thank you very much i'll see you in the next video